had a breast uplift and a breast augmentation. I've had quite a few people recently ask me, is it true? Have you had breast implants? Have you had, have you got fake boobs? A lot of people have been like, are the rumours true? I can't believe it's like rumours. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I'm, uh, people are thinking that I'm trying to like think viewers are stupid and stuff. I'm not. Also though, to kind of come on and tell the world that you've had something done that's quite, uh, it's obviously quite um, a personal thing. You know, I haven't even told all of my family. So I'm open to talking about it because I know a lot of, a lot of women, sorry, not girls, hopefully not girls, uh, do wonder about it and would like to know more about it. Um, before I go into it, I've already had some people saying, um, I'm disappointed in you and what about, like, you know, I tell girls to love themselves and things like that. Yes, I do. I do tell girls to love themselves and I try my best to love myself. We all should. If you're happy with something, um, great. If, you're, if something's changeable, change it. If it's not changeable, learn to accept it. If that makes sense. I, I wear wind liner because I like more lengthy eyes <laughs> and you know I prefer my hair this way if I can change my hair to look this way I will because I feel more comfortable in myself that way um don't take that quote for everything I'm just trying to explain since I've been about 12 years old though um literally you know when you first start growing breasticles my boobs have been such a weird shape and they've fallen in when is not actually the um it's not actually the correct place that they should fall and the reason partly I want, why I wanted to explain like what I've had done is because um, I my surgery has actually been corrective and when I went in for the consultation also she said it's going to be actually corrective more than it is uh, aesthetic <laughs> when I went for my consultation she said my the nipples are usually around the middle of your arm uh, in you know where they fall mine were lower they're about here so it's just me like naturally and I just always I I oh I just I didn't want to look at myself in the mirror I don't want anyone to see like my breasts without a bra on and a lot of you guys will probably think like oh but your boobs looked great before obviously I was wearing a bra all the time so not like anyone was seeing them you know they were quite saggy and this, to be honest more so um, the shape of them and how they fell because they were literally at the side just like an old lady. <laughs> also another massive factor is that my weight throughout the years and throughout me growing up has always yo-yoed and when that happens so your skin can lose a lot of its elasticity. Elast elasticity? Elasticity? <laughs> You know what I mean. Last year I did experience quite a shift in my weight, it, you know, and my weight dropped and I lost a lot of my um, fats and that affected my boobs as well. And they were extremely flat, you know, there was nothing in them, literally they were like flabby. So I felt even more uncomfortable in my body. And if you feel uncomfortable in your body, it kind of radiates, it radiates throughout you because you don't feel, you don't feel great. You don't feel good in clothes, you don't, like your body it's just as it is so i just be like that all the time oh sorry but i just be like that all the time i just didn't like you know i didn't feel comfortable and i thought if i can change that why not because i'll feel happy in myself and i thought i'd talk about it because maybe i can help some other girls out there that want to know more or you know are curious or just want some gossip <laughs> i know some of you do <laughs> but i went for a consultation and i wanted to know I wanted to see what they'd say about them and you know what I could get done um, and I had in mind already that I wanted actually implants and I wanted to be around maybe a full C size um, initially. But this is before me even thinking of an uplift because I thought oh uplift that's what you know women get when they're really old or you know I just didn't think of it and she said look we can't put the implant in without the uplift because what you're going to have is like a double boob effect so it's going to be like uh they'll put the implant in and like the whole like sagginess of the boob with the implant just won't work and won't look good so um i also got a few different um opinions as well so for me i was like what <laughs> you know i didn't think at my age that i would be getting an uplift the only thing is the uplift makes it more expensive uh, at the time i had the money and i wasn't really scared by the whole operation thing and being cut open and things like that to be honest because it doesn't i don't find that screamish i i got mine done at the harley medical group and they, I think they mainly do it with the silicone. I have silicone ones, <laughs> ones. I don't know if you guys want to know the exact ones that I got, 
but um, if you want to know the details I'll put them down below. There's so much I can talk about, I'm not sure how much more to talk about in this video. I might do like a Q&A or something, so leave questions down below and maybe I'll do a Q&A or if you want me to talk about different um, subjects on breast implants then I will do. I know a lot of people will probably ask like what was the pain like and things like that. Um, I found it quite difficult, I'll be honest. So some girls say, oh, it's not painful. To be fair though, I had an uplift as well, so I had more incisions to heal, and it was quite different to, most girls would get cut underneath the breast, and they just slip it in underneath, uh, whereas I had more incisions, so. Um, I found the healing time lasted quite a while, and I didn't wanna go and like ruin them by doing like a lot of activity and things while it was healing, because, <clears throat> You know, you just don't want to screw that up. But, okay, I don't know if <laughs> you can kind of... A lot of you have been able to tell because in my lookbook videos and things like that, you can see that my boot, I have boobs. <laughs> um, and I did have boobs before, but they are bigger than what I used to have. A lot of people have said, look, you don't have to do a video. You don't have to tell everyone. Um, which I know, I don't have to tell everyone. And it's not like everyone, everyone else's information. Even though I share loads about myself on YouTube, but there was a part of me that um, wanted to, I want to give advice to other girls if you're thinking of doing it and if you're not totally comfortable with yourself, then why not do something that makes you feel happy? It's about happiness. And also, I feel like in the UK it's not very spoken about at all. It's very quiet and if you get one, it's very, for me growing up, if someone were to get a boob job, it was like, what? <laughs> boob job? <laughs> Madness, I tell you. <laughs> I don't want people to think like, oh, I've changed now, like, oh my god, I'm getting plastic surgery and I'm changing. No, like, it hasn't affected me in, uh, you know, as my personality. Uh, it has helped with confidence, but then I don't use them in, in a way of confidence to feel, like, sexy and, like, I haven't, I've hardly, like, flushed them about and things. It's just so, for me, looking in the mirror, I feel comfortable and like with my body. Another thing I definitely wanted to get across was that I didn't do it for anyone else. In case someone was gonna think I did it for my boyfriend or also if you're thinking of doing it, don't do it for someone else because you, it's gonna be in you. <laughs> so the pain, I found it quite difficult. You can't, I couldn't move around very much for like the, especially the first week. You can't put any weight on your arms because it's all like connected, you know, the muscles cross over each other and so you can't, you can't do anything that involves weight. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't lift my arms up. Like it took me ages to do that. Uh, it took me ages to like, you know, just open a cupboard and things. And everyone around me has been so supportive. Um, in particular, Jason, my boyfriend, and my mum and my sister have been, were so supportive and I love them so much and I want to thank them. And if you're thinking of doing it, um, it does really, really help to have a support system around you because it attack not attacks you, but it can get you more so mentally because, because obviously if you're, you're being cut open, <laughs> so if you're having a procedure done or something, you can't do a lot of things, think daily things you can't do. So to have people around you, you know, to just remind you that, oh, you'll be, you know, you're gonna heal, you'll be fine, and to help you physically is a massive thing. I'm not, I'm not changed, I'm not a different person, I'm not all like fake and plastic now. I'm technically more percentage plastic. <laughs> I don't know if what, you guys wanna see them a bit more, or if that's a bit, this is if I was like wearing a bikini or something, so. Uh, I think that's pretty normal to show, right? That's like wearing a low cut top, so I do really like them and um, they f I think they feel quite natural. I forgot also to mention what size I was before. <laughs> I thought I was a 34C, then um, after weight loss I went down to a th about a 34B, um, then after surgery uh, 32, I must have been a totally different size then, I didn't even realise I was a different size. 32 double D, or sorry, 30 E I am. So usually I find the double D, the 32 double D size in stores, but a 30 E is really difficult to find. Ooh, that was long. <laughs> Hope you found this video helpful. I wanted to get it off my chest. <laughs> I don't want people to take life too seriously. If you're gonna get really offended, please don't take life too seriously, it's my body. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.